Wow, wow. What's good? It's the one, the only, but what do I know? Boxing coming back at y'all with another one, man. Wow. You know what? I take my hat off to Terrence Crawford. Um, I, I, I picked uh, Spence, and I, I even stated I had it like 51-49 for Spence. Um, but Terrence Crawford showed why he's levels above. And he's just on a different level. He's in a league on his own, bro. Terrence Crawford literally came in here and did the damn thing. And, bro, I cannot even... I, I, I can't be, I, I'm not upset, I'm not mad. I'm a little sad, man, because Errol Spence um, is one of my favorite fighters. And Terrence Crawford is too, don't get it twisted. Like I've always told people, like even the people that like was, was debating with me, like bro, I'm more than sure I've been watching Terrence Crawford longer than like 95% of the people that are, that is listening to this. So I, I've always been a Terrence Crawford fan. I just like Errol um, a little better, but nevertheless, bro, listen, Ter Terrence Crawford, came and he showed why he is the number one pound for pound fighter bro listen Errol Spence came out uh, with the jab very well I thought that he was pushing Errol, uh, Terrence Crawford back with the jab very well he was establishing himself very well but uh, albeit while he was doing that Terrence Crawford was dissecting him Terrence Crawford then took the jab away Terrence Crawford stayed at a southpaw stance which was uh, which I thought was weird I thought Terrence Crawford would have came um uh, because I just felt like the, with, with, with him being at a southpaw stance, I felt like that was gonna um, that was gonna allow Errol Spence to open up with the jab more. Um, and in in all actuality, bro, uh, he he actually, I think what it was is because he he. St I, so when when you had a right hand stance, I'm trying to figure out how to explain this for for like you know some of the casuals. When you had a right hand stance, because you you're going up against a southpaw. Um, because you're going up against a southpaw, bro. Your arms are your arm, your lead hands are right there by each other, so it's a little bit harder to get the jab across. And with Errol Spence having such a very having such a great jab, I thought that Terrence Crawford would have came out of his right hand stance. But I think, if I'm not mistaken, what I think is that uh, Terrence Crawford came out on the, on the left hand stance because even though yes, it's, it's it may be a little kind of uh difficult to uh not difficult but you have to play a little bit more of a chess game to get that jab across with a right hand fighter I, I believe that what terrence crawford was thinking that errol spence is used to throwing a jab at a right hand fighter and not a left hand fighter which is still awkward even for a southpaw against another southpaw so terrence crawford um terrence crawford you know he was dissecting errol spence but man by the second round Terrence Crawford landed a quick, a sharp, a sharp jab. It was like actually a jab. And I thought it called Aaron, um, I said Aaron. I thought it called Errol Spence off balance a little bit. I think Errol Spence, it was more of an off balance shot or whatnot. And I was thinking, okay, you know, it, it is what it is. I ain't think Errol was hurt. But um, Terrence Crawford was establishing, establishing himself then. Terrence Crawford got his rhythm down and started timing Errol Spence. If you notice, Errol Spence was dipping down to his left trying to come in. Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford was timing it and meeting it with that straight left. Uh, coming across and that was that was actually a beautiful tactic that that Terrence Crawford was using um, by by timing him and he took away Errol Spence's jab. Once he took away Errol Spence's jab, that then made Errol Spence a little a little more desperate with coming in. Errol Spence has no once he took away his jab, Errol Spence had no other way to to uh, to come in on on Terrence Crawford. You you, you take away somebody's jab. You gotta walk. You 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 just gonna be walking into a punch, and that's exactly what Arrow was doing all night, walking into that straight left hand, and then and then that, oh my goodness, that hook was just a, it was crazy, bro. It was crazy. Um, it was nothing else for it, it was Arrow had no adjustments. Arrow made no type of adjustments to Terrence Crawford. Now, I, again, I don't make any excuses for uh, for fighters because at the end of the day. Regardless of, of, of any way, any layoff or anything, bro, Ter Errol Spence knew that before he signed the contract, bro. So Errol Spence, um, er Errol Spence, you know, but he he just he had nothing for Terrence Crawford, bro. He had nothing. He tried to make it a, a inside fight, and but I did say this though. I knew that if the fight was on the mid range to outside, Terrence Crawford would went, uh, would, would would more so be dominant, but and that's exactly how he kept it. Ter it was moments where Errol, where Errol Spence would get on the inside and throw um, body combinations or uh, not body combinations, but but throwing hooks to the body. Um, and, and, and he, he was trying to get he was trying to keep the fight on the inside, but Terrence Crawford just wasn't having it, bro. Terrence Crawford was uh pushing Errol off and resetting and starting back, taking that jab away, catching Errol sharply as he can as he as he as he comes in, bro. I'm sorry, man, bro. I right, listen. 
I've always um, loved Terrence Crawford, but man, that, that man is definitely on my top 10. I'm talking about fighter, my favorite fighters of all time, bro, because this type of performance on this level, oh my goodness. And Terrence Crawford proved once again why he is the best finisher. To me, he is the best finisher in boxing. I don't care about Archer Better Beef. Archer Better Beef hasn't fought um, anybody that that's on um, that, that 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 matches his level on the level like like what Terrence Crawford just did. Terrence Crawford is the best finisher in boxing. That man has stopped everybody that stepped in the ring with him as a welterweight, bro. I am just I'm, I'm just shocked, bro. I'm, I'm shocked, man. Like that that is just. It's 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 beyond me to see to see that I was not expecting that man. I was not expecting that at all, bro. I was um, it's like you know, you just got you gotta give you just got. I mean you I, I'm you gotta give credit what credits do, man. It's like and I hate I hate being wrong, but it's all good, bro. Because everybody's been everybody's had a wrong pick in boxing before. That's never here, neither here nor there, bro. The fact is, bro. Errol Spence showed why he is, um, I mean, I'm sorry, Terrence, Terrence Crawford showed why he is, you know, quote unquote, the truth. No pun intended. All right. Um, I really did. I really appreciate it. And then another thing that that uh, that I appreciated from Terrence Crawford is, bro, the, the, the how calm and, and poised he was during this fight, bro. He was calm during this whole fight, bro. Like, man, he he was relaxed. Uh, he didn't let anything get to him. Anything, nothing that Terrence Crawford, I mean, nothing that Errol Spence could do was getting uh, getting to Terrence Crawford. And again, I just feel like Errol Spence was very one dimensional in this fight. That was one of the things that I was like, you know, I didn't. Errol, Errol Spence didn't try any other way to finesse his way on the inside. He didn't try to to, to jab and 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 step to his right, even though, or I mean, step to or well, he even if he would have stepped to his right, he would have kind of been. Uh, running in the way of um, Terrence Crawford's love, but he, I, I just, he didn't, he really didn't have it, but he, he gave it his all, don't get it twisted, Errol Spence gave it his all, he wasn't just, he didn't come to lay down, you can definitely tell he didn't come to lay down, but man, oh man, bro, I just did not see this coming, bro, I, Terrence Crawford, it's just, Terrence Crawford was just that sharp. Yeah, I mean, you, this is why you have to, you know, you have to get this man, um, his, his respect is number one pound for pound, a two, a, four, a two time undisputed uh champion bro that is beautiful man and i always and i always said like either way it goes i'm gonna be happy in this fight with if errol spence wins Derek james has two undisputed champions at the same time terrence crawford wins uh errol Sp uh terrence crawford becomes the first male to become um undisputed in two different weight classes bro you can't tell me man that's that is bro that that's that's dope man it doesn't get any better than that, bro. Because that um, it it just it don't get any better than that, bro. <laughs> I got I just you know Terrence Crawford has uh, he was already a Hall of Famer in my in my eyes, but bro, he has now solidified himself as as a a, 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 a number one Hall of Famer. Like bro, it's no debate. Like he is a first ballot Hall of Famer, bro. Once he retires, bro, Terrence Crawford just shows why he the man, bro. And I and I'm I'm proud of that. I'm proud of Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields being the first woman, I mean the first boxer, period, to become undisputed in multiple weight classes in the four belt, belt era. But Terrence Crawford has become as the first man. That's that's crazy. That's bizarre, bro. I, I'm 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 you know I'm very interested to see what happens next. Errol Spence did say that he wanted to do uh he, he Errol Spence did say he wanted to exercise his rematch clause. He said hopefully they could do it at 154. Um I don't think Terrence Crawford would have an issue with that. Uh I don't know what would change other than the fact that if possibly Errol Spence was um was just was maybe drained or maybe he didn't feel his best. That's the only time I that's the only thing I could think of like that that would possibly uh make the fight better. Uh, but as far as skill for skill, I don't see what would change in this um, in this short amount of period, short amount of time. But it's okay, bro, because you know at the end of the day, I'm not one of these guys that jumps off the bandwagon when my guy loses. Um, just so happened that both of my guys were in the ring tonight, but I just wanted Earl Spence uh, to get it even more. But it's all, you know it's all good, bro. I take my I take my losses like on the chin, bro. I, I made the wrong uh, I had the wrong pick. It is what it is. No excuses. Um, Terrence Crawford came and did the thing, damn thing. Either way it goes, man, I'm happy. I, I, just, I hope the pay-per-view buys was a, was, was a success. It was definitely a packed house. That was a packed house. Oh, uh, that, that house was packed. Um, 
shoot, bro, it's, it's nothing really else to be said other than like, you know, just it's not about what happens, it's what 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 happens next. Errol Spence needs to work on um work on getting himself on the inside and uh, or he gonna have to he gonna have to um establish his jab, figure out he Errol has a lot to Errol has to go back to the drawing board, man. It's a lot that he has to figure out. Um, and I just I think it's too little of time to try to figure all that out against uh, Terrence Crawford, bro. Like I don't know if Errol Smith, but you know it is what it is, man. All right, let me know what you guys think. Did you enjoy the fight? Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. What do you want to see next from both fighters? But what do I know?